Hello! Hi YouTube! This is gonna probably be another quick video kind of thing for the YouTubes because uh, I didn't really look at it or more like talk about these new weapons because a uh, new raid from uh, for Osiris. Where is it? Yep. She looks pretty good. Nice nice pair of uh, nice nice pair of doggos on screen. <laughs> Clearly not looking at her chest at all. Yeah, so uh, this is technically one of the first of the new uh, raid series, which is kind of like as strong as Magna 2, but is apparently the weapons are geared towards uh, Primal rather. As you can see, this is for Primal. Yep, for Primal, but uh, long story short, it does look like the really relatively at least decent one that you can kind of use is, I would say, is the, the dagger one. Because, well, you have this. And then you have free progression. Which I think... You can kind of use it as a relatively decent main hand as well. I mean, this one is whatever, but... This one is nice though, right? I mean, 3k heal is pretty good, isn't it? Fucking hell. And it's a dagger. You can kind of use... I don't know, like... Warlock or some shit or something. Yeah, 3k is pretty fucking... Wait, actually 3k is fucking massive though, if you think about it. <laughs> 3k is quite massive. But yeah, um... I... I don't think you want to go more than 2? Wait, do you? No, right? I think 2 is the most you want to get for this weapon, right? I don't think you want to go more than 2. 2 full and break is already more than enough, I think, for this one. 3 seems to be a little bit pointless. Yeah, three three seems so freaking pointless. Two it seems to be like the the real sweet spot. Um, the stuff is, I mean, kind of okay, I guess. <laughs> Mirror, sure. This this one seems kind of. I'm not too sure. This one as well is like yeah, enmity and then enmity supplemental on Ogi. Seems kind of eh, but yeah. So like out of the two, the the real one you probably want is just the dagger though. I mean, it's just still kind of nice if you can still get it. I don't think you you should get rid of it yet. You should just, I don't know, hold on to it for the time being, shit like that. But yeah, the stuff you can still kind of use to us to, to a certain extent. I guess if you think about it, staff as well, I think you kind of want to use two as well. I don't think you want to use more than two. Yeah, I think for the staff, it's also two. I don't think you go more than three. Seems kind of pointless because it's medium as well. And this one, I don't think you really need to stack that many anyway. Heck, I think even one is enough as well for this one, but yeah. The most you probably want to go for the stick is, uh, as well for is just likely to. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm still a little bit very, very gassy like with the, the fucking purging I had or like the diarrhea shit I had from a few days ago. It's still around, but yeah. I'm doing feeling a lot better now. Um, So... Long story short, dagger, point, uh, staff. <laughs> okay, eh, okay, you know, usable. It's passable. You can still kind of use it. I would probably think that uh, you only use these two together if you want to go for like the pseudo free to play uh, primal setup again. But. Honestly though, it's actually kind of nice that they are doing this new raid series because what it actually just offers is that it allows players to be able to have more choices. That's one. But the one that really helps the most is the ones that did not really get a lot of uh, gacha, gacha weapons and shit and you want to go primal because it really looks like with these two weapons right now, there is a potential for you to be able to do relatively well in same Hades at the moment and still do okay to a certain extent. You can do relatively okay with like I would even say like Nightmare 150 and shit because you could even equip this two like two of these and then you have like two sticks from Majestas or whatever shit and then you have these two as well. And then you have your opus, your usual shit, and you're still gonna do just fine. And not that, it's not like the free-to-play shit right there. 
you know, because we had that thing before, right? Where, you know, the um, the bunker ones, the bunker race that we used to have, used to have, we still have that, but we, yeah, this ones. This used to be the ones where it allows us to get like the pseudo uh, grid going for Primal, right? And then all of a sudden they changed that because we have Astro and shit and then we just sh shove that shit out of the window and it all became garbage. So... It does look like it's somewhat coming back now because of all this new, uh, this new weapon series. So... I'm actually kind of looking forward to see the rest of the, the f other five elements because this looks pretty promising. And I'm not sure whether they're gonna put out relatively fast for this though. Because they did say that we are actually able to customize this in future by the way. I'm not sure how but it does look like we are able to customize this too right. From what I remember. I don't think- wait I'm not even sure if you are allowed to, to customize the, the Ogi or not. I didn't mem remember them saying something about only the weapon skills or some shit. Yeah, maybe a third, a extra third skill slot, I don't know. But it looks pretty promising, right? If they actually allow us to change and like I said, right? The stuff may not look like it now, but we may actually just switch this to make it usable, right? I you know, if like say for example, if you're not luck shitting in the dagger or whatever. You know, like that if you're in that situation kind of thing. So that customizing stuff in future is going to be really really good and plus if they're actually going to do the customizable stuff right I feel like they're only doing it when all six raids for the Enid the Enid Enid series yeah Enid weapon series gets released like all the ra all six elements gets released so they did say it's like close to anniversary right that they'll allow us to customize that thing so that means the five el the five remaining elements of any uh, series are going to be released within a span of two months. So that's actually not too bad. I'm assuming Light is going to be next. I assume. Because Light Guild War is going to be coming up next or something. But that's going to be like what? In April though, I think. Right? I don't know. We'll see, I suppose. <laughs> but yeah. So long story short, the weapons are great, is looking really really promising, allowing people to be able to get into Primal a lot easier once again, because I really hope they don't destroy this again like what they did with the fucking Bunkle, the Bunkle raids, right? Because they destroyed these raids so freaking fast, I'm not sure you guys remember, or especially the the, the new, the new uh, newcomers on the, in GBF, right? If you want to go like Primal and shit, this was the thing for like, I think a month. <laughs> um, I think it was, no. I think it was like two or three months or some shit. That, that astral appeared and immediately deleted all this usefulness. It's just gone. I think the only one you really use is like... This one? The stick? And uh, this one. Yeah, the only ones you still use is the skills of Dominion. And the Morina raid is the... Yeah, Unius. It, a little bit. This one maybe a little bit as well. But I think mostly they are only using is the Garuda bow. Not really much on fucking Moringa anyway. <laughs> the only ones that are still usable is just this thing really. <laughs> I mean I wouldn't even say Gilgamesh is really being used at all. The axe I mean. Maybe the spear though? Spear can, can be kind of useful for like some OTK stuff I suppose. But yeah. The only one that is really, really using people still use this to this day is just this guy. The RS is just uh... <laughs> pretty unfortunate, but yeah, I think that's all I can say for now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys on the next video or on stream. Thanks for watching. Okay.